there's a lot of dissatisfaction with the public school system right now. And the Nazis chased the communists from the Frankfurt School out of Germany in the 30s. And they came to Columbia and they have been the premier teaching institution. And that is the direction that we're headed. So Pete's book addresses how do we change that direction. It was, uh, it was really good. I really liked how he is unashamed of his faith in Jesus Christ and our uh, spiritual heritage, not just in our country, but, uh, but in Western civilization. And um, so, so he's, he, is, he doesn't uh, tell you right off the bat, but by the end of the book, it's, it's really clear he is advocating for uh, the Western Christian Padea, teaching kids uh, the, the uh, heritage of Christianity and for uh, classical Christian education, classical Christian education. And so there's one of those uh, 45 minutes from my house that we could put the kids in. We homeschool right now. And I did investigate it, look into it. Uh, we're not ready to pull the trigger, but um, it's a really good book uh, talking about how, how apparently Ulysses Grant uh, didn't realize what he was doing when he made it so that we had to grant made it so that funds were separated so that private schools wouldn't get public funds I think that's the general idea but that that he did something didn't realize what he was doing that uh, it would it would uh, allow the progressives to get into the school and control it when the government controlled the schools then uh, the progressives came in and used it and uh, I think I've heard before Moeller maybe said the idea was to try to protect kids from uh, public funds going to Catholic schools at the time but w whatever the case is he says that that we are fighting what happened in the last 20 years but the problem has, goes back 120 years or further and so uh, what's interesting is he says that he wants kids to learn to uh, learn Latin in school so they can read Cicero and they can read the greatest general of all times and they can read Marcus Aurelius, a great thinker, leader. And uh, he gives a good quote from C.S. Lewis. It's a big deal. C.S. Lewis says that, uh, that he already sees a problem and that uh, school is teaching people to do jobs and it doesn't teach people to use reason to think. And uh, there's a good quote from C.S. Lewis saying that uh, education is needed for free men. Uh, slaves don't need education. They don't need to reason or think. And, um, and so he doesn't say this quote, but it's the quote, it's the idea that uh, we need to teach kids to think, not what to think. And um, really interesting. So he goes back, he gives a history of how the progressives uh, got into the school and replaced the Christian, uh, Western Christian Padilla, which is the method of teaching, method of life, uh, that that the, the Pledge of Allegiance is actually a step down from the Western Christian Padilla where, where, they, were, uh, where they would be taught uh, maybe the uh, Disciples' Creed or, or um, uh, other, other things. So uh, the reason to learn Greek in school, uh, he doesn't, I don't remember him saying it, but to me it seems pretty obvious the reason to learn Greek the reason to learn Greek is to study the Bible and the original languages. And uh, again, so I can picture in, in uh, the Battle of Thermopylae that free men fight better than slaves. And so the foundation of freedom and the Greek culture and in the Roman culture is uh, something that the Greek and the Roman culture uh, gave us a, uh, an idea of freedom, of self-rule and uh, developing individuals. He gives uh, illustrations of how Disney took uh, the, the best parts out of the old, uh, old moral imagination of Pinocchio and Jungle Book and that, uh, that what we're doing now is, is, uh, is telling them what to do and not giving them the virtue. And so, you know, he doesn't say it, but, but the illustration that comes to my mind is virtue is self-control. And so uh, his example was public drunkenness. Don't be drunk in public. That's the rule that would be given. But self-control would control so much more. And so 
Um, so, you know, with the fundamental background, no alcohol is what we were taught, but self-control would be, would be more than that. It would be more than just no alcohol. It would be, it would be not to be gluttonous and, and, you know, an Oreo is not wrong. But the virtue is self-control. It's not uh, just removing Oreos from my diet. And uh, so the idea of teaching kids virtues, teaching them what to love or teaching them to develop their loves and having beauty, having reason, uh, virtue. And um, there's one other one I think I, I, I can't, can't place it right now. But there's four pillars of education and we put those into their hearts and minds and then they can lead themselves, self-govern, and uh, that that is what our country needs is as real free citizens. So the Greeks had this idea of logos that I uh, was talked about in Pete's book, and the logos was striving toward perfection, and Jesus came and he was perfection. He was the logos in John chapter one. Uh, Pete's un unashamed to make me mention of the scriptures talking about how uh, Paul goes to the Greeks and uh, preaches to them the unknown God in the book of Acts. And so uh, they reached for that. Now, he, he, he says that Western civilization is built on, on the uh, Holy Roman Empire being training children. They trained the children and they couldn't win by military force uh, areas of Europe, but how they won was reaching the next generation with Christian education, and that built the Holy Roman Empire. And then, and then, uh, as a revival or a renewal in England, there's a uh, there's a uh, leader that he brings up that that uh, did so with with uh, classical Christian education by teaching young people, and that that brought about the strength of England.